Today I'm going to make another air fryer recipe. I am loving my new air fryer and so what I want to do today is to try out roasted salmon and quinoa. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with cutting up these two scallions. If yours are shorter you might do four and I'm just going to cut the roots off. Dead ends. And then let's slice these very thin. Now I'm going to take rosemary, and it's about a teaspoon worth, and I just want to cut this as fine as I can because I'm going to turn it into a paste that we're going to rub onto the salmon. Okay, let's pat our salmon dry. Let's start our, pat up our ninja. And let's pat our salmon dry. Okay, so I've got two, two drawers, and I'm going to put the crisper in. Okay, and now I'm going to lay my salmon down inside here, skin down. And now let's put this paste, which is not a true paste, but close to it. Sure, I get all of the meat with a little of that oil on it. So I'm gonna rub it, spread it out. Okay, got that. Now then, we'll put that in the drawer. And let's bring out our second drawer. Now I'm gonna remove the crisper from this one. I've got one cup of quinoa I'm pouring in. That minced one clove of garlic, those thinly sliced green onions, scallions, some people call them. And now I'm gonna put one and a half cups of chicken stock in. I should have measured this probably, but if you're familiar with the way I cook, I don't enjoy measuring, and somehow it always comes out okay. Oh yeah, that's about right. Now then, let's put this one in. Now on my zone one, I'm gonna set the temperature. Oops, I need to tell it I wanna roast. And now set the temperature. Oops, it still doesn't know it. There, roast. Set the temperature oops, to 390, and then the time is going to be 17 minutes. And now then, I'm going to go to 2. I'm going to tell it what I want it to do. I want it to bake. Now I can set my temperature. I want my temperature at 400. Now I can set my time. I want my time at 35 minutes. Oh, I made it go way too far. <laughs> Whoa, I, I'm not good at this yet. Here we go. Now, two, two, five, 35. Okay, I'm going to do a smart finish. And what's going to happen is it's going to, this one's only 17 minutes in the drawer one. Drawer two is 35. So this one will be on hold 
while this one cooks until it catches up. So let's get started. All right, good deal. Okay, let's these boys. Pause it. There's still five minutes left on the salmon and on the quinoa. Oh wow, I think my salmon's done. Look at that, what do you think? Yes, let's reduce the time on that one. And let's check this one first. Hmm, it's getting kind of roasted. Let's see what we've got here. Is it getting done? I think it still needs more time. Quinoa usually kind of burst. It's not burst, so I'm going to let it continue to cook. Okay, one. I'm going to reduce the time to zero. And let's start. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to go on and put the sim on my plate. And now I think this is ready. So let's pull it out. And well, let's make this pretty now. A little bit of parsley. How's that? Okay. Let's see how this turned out. Hmm, try the quinoa first. It's good, tasty, but I think it should have cooked a little bit longer. I must have stopped it too soon. So I should have gone the full 35 minutes. Okay, and then let's try the salmon. Mm. Look at that, that looks good, doesn't it? Mmm. Yes, perfectly cooked. It's very flaky. It's done all the way through. And I did stop it early. My piece was a little thin and that's why I did that. Because it did look like it was ruddy. And oh, by the way, I've got some uh, lima beans that I got at the farmer's market. And mmm. Very good too. So, Overall, I think this was a success. My lessons learned is to cook the quinoa a little longer, and I believe I needed a little more liquid in that. So I think I would put two cups of broth in instead of one and a half. So if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you'd like to share with me what you thought of the video, and I'll see you in future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye now.